for the sign of Taurus. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Taurus, for the recent past energy, we got this Knight of Swords and it's with the Six of Pentacles. Well, the Knight of Swords, it actually brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The Knight of Swords, it also points to your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual energy. It's at a peak. And if you were waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Nine of Swords, it does point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, and getting things accomplished. So you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything as the Knight of Swords. And that's a, that's a really good thing because you're going after your heart's desire. Now it's with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, it's showing it's a sign for the turn. It's a sign of a turn for the better. It could be with regards to money. It's one of the more positive pinnacles. In the tarot, it speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. When you get this card in a reading, you're likely to be heading into a really positive cycle. Not just a positive, not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole lot positive cycle. Six of Pentacles is also about generosity. So it does mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. Share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Yeah, so it's, it's this is good, the recent past energy. Nine of Swords clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So you or your person or the both of you, you were always planning to come together. Your person had a lot of fast action and energy to come towards you. Yeah, they were always anxious or ready to seek you out, to be with you. Always planning to take action in this connection. And with the Six of Pentacles here, it felt like the two of you were in a really positive cycle. It was a good relationship. You felt like there was growth and prosperity. Your person could have, your person could have been really generous to you. Good relationship. So the recent past energy is, is great. So let's move on over. And let's see what we got coming up for the present time. First week of October, we got this Queen of Pentacles and it's with the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, it can indicate that you could be spending time, money, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt, too much expense. People could be looking to you for insight or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's also a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. Now, it's with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a woman who will be very helpful to you. She reminds us to, to bring love, to bring compassion to our work and to our lives. And that's even possible even if we're working in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So things are probably better in your world, in your working world, when you get the Queen of Cups. When it comes to love and relationships and you get the Queen of Cups, it's very positive, very positive. Whenever you see the King or the Queen of Cups in your reading, it's showing that there's a lot of love. The Queen and the King of Cups, they're two of the most loving energies in the tarot. And that's what you got here. 
So, prayer for the present time. Queen of Pentacles clarified at the Queen of Cups. So, like I said, the recent past energy was really good between you and the person you're dealing with. Really good. But what we got coming up is that if you're in a relationship and it's it's long distance, which I'm picking up for some of you is, some of you it's a long distance relationship. Your person could be, um, wow, they could be wanting to offer you a cup of love and trying to make you feel more comfortable with them. If it's a new relationship, they might be inviting you to their home. Just trying to make you feel um, more at peace, more at ease with them. Just wanting to make you feel comfortable if this is a new relationship. Now, if this is an existing relationship, um, the two of you could be spending time at home, more time at home, which is what a lot of people are doing because of the quarantine. And just trying to make being at home a, a more comfortable place. Even though most of us really want to get out more. But yeah, just trying to figure out how to make home more comfortable with you and your person. And um, be more loving. And try and bring more balance to the connection. Because the Queen, Queen of Cups, like I said, it's about love and compassion. So, yeah, the present time is not bad either. If it's, like I said, if it's a new relationship, this person will be inviting you to their home. Being loving and compassionate. And if it's an existing relationship, then you guys will be wanting more comfort. Or realizing that being at home, you should be trying to make it more comfortable. And there's love and compassion in the connection. So let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is. Now, with the challenge, we got the devil card and it's with the ace of swords. So the devil card, just a little, just to tell you a little bit about it. You have to realize that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to make sure you're coming to it on your own. So it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have a feeling that you're not in control of your life. But just know that sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions. But more often, it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action. Whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small baby steps, they're important too. Now, the devil card is with the ace of swords. Now, the ace of swords, like all the aces in the tarot, they're about new beginnings. Yeah, but when you get the ace and the sword... It's about a new beginning happen that's caused by some type of separation. So you could be moving, leaving a job, a situation, leaving a person, or just cutting out something. And then there's this great new beginning. So the new beginning, new beginning is started by a separation. So your challenge... We've got this devil clarified by the Ace of Swords. So what I'm getting is that for a lot of you, or for some of you, you might realize that this person that you're involved with, or maybe you already know, that they've got some type of toxic energy, or either they're toxic, you yeah. know, because the devil card is about obsession. Having obsession. They could be obsessed with you. They could have some type of obsession. They could have addictions. 
um, drug abuse, they get addictions, alcoholism, just some type of toxic devil energy. Devil energy, toxic, toxicity, greed, envy, materialism, sexual lust. So it looks like some of you are going to find out, or like I said, maybe you already know this person has some devil energy. And you're going to realize that it needs to be stopped. Yeah, it's something that you can't tolerate. It's something that um, you probably refuse to deal with. And it has to be cut out. If the two of you are going to have a new beginning. So that's a challenge. Maybe your person is obsessed with you. But you realize that that needs to be stopped too. Maybe it's just too overpowering. Or just too much for you. Some type of devil energy or toxicity that they bring to the connection. And like I said, you realize it needs to be cut out. If the two of you are going to have a, a fresh new start or a continuation or a new beginning. So that's a challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the hangman and the page of wands. Now, the hangman, it shows that you could be at a crossroads, one with two options, that type of crossroads. For example, in or, in or out, up or down, yes or no, you could find that you're wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. So, if this does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, things. It could be possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So this should be a very thoughtful, reflective time. Particularly, if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change. Now, it's with the Page of Wands, which are about warm, ambitious, high achievers. Now, this is not a person. The Page of Wands, it can, indica it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So, you might need to try to stay focused as the Page of Wands. This card could indicate that things you started some time ago, they could start to come to life start to come to fruition it can also show a need for new things new adventures new approaches new ideas the page it actually brings a positive energy but you have to supply the follow-through you have to supply that and it can be difficult because like i said there's the energy of easy distraction and trying to stay focused because when you hear the word page in the tarot that means youth Youth, a student, it could mean immaturity, or it could mean someone younger than you. Now, the outcome, hangman clarified by the page of wands. So what I'm getting is that, yeah, because your person, maybe, maybe you're just realizing about the, uh, this toxic energy that your person has. Um, maybe you're just realizing it. So now you're confused. You're not sure. Should you stay? Should you go? In or out? Up or down? Yes or no? You're just stuck in your head. It could be that you need to let go of something when you're, when you got the hangman. Maybe let go of an unattainable lover. That's one example. Which will bring about the possibility that you can be with someone who will be there for you. Or maybe let go of a particular vision of the kind of relationship that's, that is the only way you can be happy. Yeah, I hope that makes, made sense. So you might, let me say it again, you might need to let go of a certain type of vision that you're thinking is the only kind of relationship as being the only way to be happy. 
So it's about letting go of something because you're confused. Yeah. Maybe let go of the thought that that a good relationship has no toxic energy. Maybe now you're realizing that all relationships have some type of something, something negative or something, something um, that's undesirable. Maybe let go of that thought that there's no perfect relationship. Or let just, maybe you're thinking of letting go of attempts to control this person or the situation. But you're confused. You don't know. Should you do it that way or should you do it this way? Should you stay or should you go? But because of the Page of Wands, yeah, your person, they're going to be reaching out to you. They're going to be hollering at you. Yeah, they, they want to get with you. Page of Wands is about a lot of passion to take action. Yeah, your passion, your, your person has a lot of passion for you. This person could be younger than you. You might start to see them as a bit immature. Yeah, so you know that there's some devil energy here. And... You might start to feel that the connection is toxic and you're confused. Yeah, maybe you're this queen of cups. You want you were thinking about offering them a cup of love. Things are going really good with this recent past energy. But now you see that it's it's not a perfect connection. It's not a perfect relationship. So you don't know what to do. But they'll be hollering. Hey, let's get together. 